Hey, welcome back. So I realized the other day that I have been doing makeup for quite a long time. It is coming up on nine years, which is crazy for me to say out loud. And obviously within the past eight to 10 years, makeup has changed dramatically. Honestly, within the past three years, the makeup industry has just evolved and changed so much. The way we're applying makeup, the techniques, everything is just constantly changing. And so um, I realized that foundation routines are a really popular topic and video in the beauty world on YouTube. And I wanted to do a universal routine that I've been doing on people for probably the past solid four years. I have not changed it. These are the products that I use. And this is a routine that I use on people who have oily skin, who have dry skin, combination skin. It's a great universal base to have. It can be worn for special occasions, for every day. It's just that good middle ground base uh, that I think a lot of you all might be interested in seeing. It's not complicated. It's obviously like, if you know me, it's not complicated does not involve a ton of steps and can be easily adjusted. So I'm gonna walk you through that right now. Let's talk about primer. So most of you know, I do not prime my skin. I only prep, I cleanse and I moisturize and that is my primer. If you are extremely oily or you have very textured skin, definitely go in with a mattifying primer or something that can fill in your pores a little bit more. You may have to experiment and try out different ones, but I would recommend uh, using something like that for those two reasons. If you have almost perfect skin, no texture going on, you don't need a primer. Foundational choice isn't gonna be a surprise to most of you who are familiar with my channel, and that's Max Face and Body. This is the mothership of all foundations in my opinion. I have been using this on myself and in my kit for at least six years. Six out of the almost nine that I've been doing makeup once I found this, I never went back. And it is just such a versatile formula. It is waterproof, it is sweat proof. It can be layered from sheer to about a medium full coverage. And it is just beautiful on the skin. Does not enhance texture, It it's, Fight me on it, fight me on it, it's the best. So generally I love applying this with my hands. Recently I've been a little bit lazy and I have been using my brush. So I wanna show you how I use it with a brush. I've got some on the back of my hand. This is a pretty heavily water-based foundation, so that's why it layers so well. If you're gonna be using a brush with it, make sure you're not buffing. Um, I really don't prefer a buffing technique if I'm using a brush with this product. I think it layers a lot nicer if you are pushing into the skin um, instead of dragging it because it has this technology in it to where once it's dried down, it creates almost like this gripping texture on the skin and that allows you to go in and kind of keep layering. So it, uh, it it's, I can't describe, you just have to try it. I can't describe how this dries down. It's a very interesting and unique formula, um, but hands down, beautiful finish. It is, it's just, it's, it's perfect. It's perfect for all skin types. All right, so that's one sheer layer on the skin. This is good enough for my preference, but a lot of people don't understand that this foundation can be layered. So the secret to that is just to kind of let this sit for about one to two minutes on the skin before you go in with your next layer. Because like I said, it kind of dries down and has that grippy texture. And once it's dried down a little, it's just perfect for layering. And the great thing about layering this is that it never enhances texture on the skin. You can layer as much as you want and it just looks so smooth, so natural. So I'm gonna take a little bit more and again, I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna start pressing it into the skin. If you're using your hands, warm it up in your hands and just kind of press and you can layer it that way as well. But you can see along my jawline right here, it's already layering a little bit fuller compared to the sheerness up here. A common question that I see a lot on Instagram and my videos and even like celebrity photos, and I get asked this a lot, is why doesn't my foundation look like that? Why doesn't my foundation look like yours? Truthfully, and especially if you're looking at celebrity makeup photos, 
Uh, most celebrity makeup artists don't do their clients makeup like youtubers most of the time They're using a really natural formula like this that will be forgiving in photos They're not layering a ton of super matte foundation on going in with a ton of tart shape tape baking the entire face It's just honestly it is not what most people do um, especially to get a really nice forgiving I will, I will say forgiving base and you also have to take into account that 90 percent of the photos that are posted to the internet makeup wise are edited at least just a little bit so uh yeah don't don't feel bad if you have texture on your skin if you have acne if you have something that you need to cover nobody's skin is perfect even if it may appear so uh, and you know, just roll with it. Roll with what you got. So I did one side of my face with two layers and I think it's very apparent the difference in coverage and the difference in the way my skin looks. So this can very much be layered at least one more time if you feel like you want more coverage or you need more coverage. I'm gonna stop it too. Um, I don't, I don't wanna get twisted up in here and get a little crazy with uh, my coverage level on this because I think this foundation truly shines at its sheerest. So just gonna go ahead and complete the other side and then we'll move on. Let's move into concealer. This is a step that I think a lot of people don't realize that they can actually get their coverage from, but not in an overwhelming way. For example, if you were to use a fuller coverage foundation and then go in with a fuller coverage concealer, use powder on top of that, obviously it's gonna start looking, you know, you know, just, just a little thick. So this is where I really go in and I customize my coverage. One of my favorite formulas that is so underrated is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Stick Concealers. These are phenomenal. They are more of a full coverage formula. They are a stick concealer. What I like to do first is just apply a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm going to mix two colors today because I'm kind of in between shades and uh, I just like to put the product on the back of my hand and then I take my brush, which let's see, where is my brush? I take a brush like this that is fluffier and diffused and this is a Sigma highlighter brush. It's an FO3, you don't have to use this, but something, you know, with this shape and just something that you can go in really lightly with. And I take that on the uh, back of my hand and add it to my brush and then I just lightly sweep underneath my eyes. Now, if you do have dark circles uh, or you need some type of corrective measure before you go in with concealer, that's perfectly fine. You would just do that before you applied your concealer. I'll list some of my favorite correctors down below if you do have uh, dark circles. But as far as application goes, I like to really lightly layer. So um, instead of going in directly with the stick and striping you know, my face up, I'm just applying a small amount to the back of my hand and then just lightly sweeping it in the areas that I need. Now, for those of you who do need more coverage, that's also a really good reason to have a concealer like this, something that's in stick form that has more coverage because you can actually just go in and spot conceal the areas that need more coverage. If you have birthmarks or something that really needs extra coverage, I would definitely recommend looking into Dermablend. They have great camouflaging concealers and just products in general that have a lot of pigment that can really cover and correct redness uh, or any type of discoloration in the skin. This next step is optional if you don't feel comfortable doing this or you just haven't figured out the best way to apply this type of product. You can skip it and go in with your normal bronzer, but I am going to use a little bit of cream bronzer and the one that I think is really user-friendly that's great to start out with if you have never used a cream contour or cream bronzing product is the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer. It is just big and chunky, blends out like a dream. I'm only going to apply a little bit uh, today and I just apply a little bit to my forehead and obviously my contour areas. It's not really a contouring product. Um, to me, contouring contouring's like a little like 2008 you know what i'm saying so i am i think there's like a new um name for this technique or not new but 
I think it's called non-touring. Is that what, is that what they're calling it these days? Basically, I just want a little bit of definition in uh, the contoured areas of my face. And I think by using a cream bronzer like this, not only can you just completely eliminate having to go over your skin with um, another powder, but it just looks so hyper real and um, really lovely. So if you find that you're really oily and cream products like this are just too emollient, that's fine. Like, like I said, you don't, definitely don't have to use uh, a cream product for this, but it does look nice and it does, um, I think you'll notice a difference. All right, let's talk about translucent powder for just a second. If you are oily or combination, translucent powder can be a wonder for you. It is very easy to layer. It's very easy to touch up with throughout the day, uh, but you can get a little crazy with it upon first application. And I'm talking like as far as baking the skin uh, and really packing it on heavily. My suggestion to those of you who are a bit on the oily side is to just use your translucent powder in the areas that obviously you find that your skin gets a bit more oily, which is generally the T-zone on most people. So what I'm doing is I'm taking one of my favorite brushes. This one is from Mac. It's a 137. And I'm just going to demonstrate, you know, I'm just going to apply that to the areas that people generally get oily. And translucent powder is just a really good oil absorber. It doesn't add on any extra color to the skin. It really doesn't add on texture. If you're using a good one, um, obviously the Laura Mercier one is a tried and true one. And, um, you know, if you're not packing a ton of it on, it really serves its purpose. So I'm just going to apply a little bit, even though I'm not really, not combination, not oily. Um, I just want to show you, you know, how you can tone down the skin in just certain areas. All right, so moving into our final steps here for the rest of the face. When I do makeup on anyone but myself, I generally always set with a very sheer pressed powder. So something like MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural, that's actually what I keep in my kit. Uh, you could use a baked powder. You could use something like I'm gonna use today, which is the Physician's Formula Healthy Powder. Uh, you just want something that's in between a sheer translucent powder and a powder foundation. You don't necessarily want to set your face with a powder foundation because uh, it's just too pigmented. You can't really go back and touch up with it throughout the day. And I just generally find that heavier powders like that, they just don't layer good on the skin. So something in between like this that just has just the slightest hint of coverage or the slightest hint of color is really good to set the rest of the face with. And again, I'm just using uh, my 137 brush, just kind of applying it in the areas where I didn't apply translucent powder. Okay, final step here, and this is something I have been doing for years on clients. I hardly ever do it in my videos because generally I'm good with a cream bronzer for every day and I set my face with a little bit of mineral veil and I'm good to go. But on other people, when it's obviously for a special occasion or photographs, I use a face powder that is about three to four shades darker than the skin tone, so something that can mimic a bronzer. And I go over any type of cream product that I've done and it really just kind of sets it in place and also just gives the skin a really smooth finish. If you have a problem with bronzers, um, just looking streaky on you or you're just not a fan of bronzer in general, you can try this, try going out and getting one of your favorite powders and just a darker color and uh, using that to set the rest of the face just to kind of lightly um, set and contour the rest of the face.
All right, so there you have it. This is the completed base. If I feel like I've gotten a little heavy on powder, I'll use MAC Fix Plus just to kind of tone down any type of areas that look like they have a bit more powder on them. Uh, but other than that, we are highlighted in the areas we need to be, defined in the areas, but nothing too dramatic. We're not overly matte. We're not overly glowy. And again, you can customize this, like I said, if you feel like you need more powder in those certain areas that are a bit more oily then you customize and you add or take away what you need this is a very customizable routine uh, but mainly I just wanted to show you what types of products you could use for this type of look and um, you know how to apply them just a good old good old basic routine for everyone all right so I've just added a little bit of mascara and a glossy lip and this is the final look like I said I've been doing this for about four years using almost these identical products on people and it's just a great base to start out with keep in mind like I said things are interchangeable you can add take away add more if you need to it's just really all about layering and small layers and kind of building your way up to the preference that you want so i hope this helped you i'll have a lot of suggestions for products in the uh, info box down below if you have any questions for me feel free to leave them down below as well and i will see you guys in my next video bye